What is up, everyone? It is Animus Born. Yes, it's late, um, but I just got done rolling another six and a half hours straight. Uh, Rerolling passives for you guys. And this is really good information. Uh, we rolled 1,262 times yesterday on my main account that does have the the new game pass, which is the passive luck. And I am on my son's account right now. You can see he does not have it. So we rolled 1,262 times, six and a half hours. And I posted that video yesterday. Well, today I rolled another six, uh, 1,262 times or six and a half hours, basically, on Legendary Heroes without the game pass so i'm gonna i'm here with the results so we're gonna get into mythicals first and just i know everyone knows the blessing passive is the more common one to get out of all of them um so if you saw my video yesterday i kind of I, I made a spreadsheet so that would really help out and i'll show you that here in a bit um, but I'm just going to show you how many I got without the game pass first. So blessing. We were able to get the ones that say test. Um, I renamed them. So that is uh, six of them. So we got six blessings out of 1,262 attempts. Um, the next one we got is solid gold. So we're going to look at solid gold. We only got two solid golds, and I didn't change his name over. He is my test dummy. So two solid golds, and I did make a little spreadsheet, so stick around, and it's a side-by-side -side comparison, just in case you haven't watched my video yesterday. Again, I'm doing all the homework for you guys, and to me, this is a really good test. Uh, you know, if, if some people think it's not a, a real fair test to only do 1262 times let me know um i'll go i'll go get more shards if you guys want me to test it again if you guys like this um but i'm basically making this so you if you haven't bought the game pass yet you'll know if you should buy it or not and i'm just going to tell you right now absolutely it's worth buying um 100 sure I, I probably shouldn't say worth buying because what's worth to me may not be worth to you or everyone else. But to answer the question is, does it work or do you see improvements? The answer is absolutely yes. You do see the difference in luck on rolling passives with the game pass 100% for sure. So leader three, you can see we got two leader threes during our test. Next one we're going to look at is ghostly. We got three ghostlies. And just remember again, 1,262 different rerolls, three ghostlies without the passive luck game pass. Um, I do want to say draconic because I, it's funny because I went back in my last video and yeah, I, I, and I jotted down zero Draconics. I forgot to mention that. So that is very odd. Like, I know I'm not making this up um, or I'm not miscalculating. I got zero Draconics the first time I tested it with the Game Pass and the second time. Like, that's insane to think about. I got two Secret Passives, but not a Draconic. So that is, I, pr I promise you, I didn't just roll off of it. Um, I was sitting there on my iPad doing this manually the entire time. So no Draconics out of uh, fifteen, uh, approximately 1,500 different rerolls. Uh, maybe because it's a lower uh, rarity. I don't know if that has something to do with it. Maybe they're thinking like not too many people are going to reroll for... I don't know though. That doesn't really make sense. So you guys let me know. Um, I, I can try it again. But yeah, zero Draconics. Next we have is lucky three. Um, I already had, I had two, or I should say my son had two. These two he already have had. You can see they were leveled up just a little bit. 
So to get to the lucky threes, three of them, one, two, three. So three lucky threes. And the last one is ace, which is the rarest mythical passive to get right here, 0.082%. And we were able to get one ace. Now, secret passives. Did we get any secret passives out of 1,262 attempts without the passive luck game pass? Yes. The answer is yes. We did get one. What do you think it is? Just take a moment and guess. I wish it was Time Lord. It wasn't. It wasn't God. So that leaves only one. We did get a monster on a test dummy. That's too bad. So there's a monster. I'm sure you guys already seen it. Um, so one secret passive. Let's go over to my spreadsheet here. Don't make fun of my uh, my Excel my Excel skills. I put it together really quick. I'm tired after re-rolling. I, I just spent 13 hours and two days manually re-rolling for you guys. So this is just a breakdown. You can see the total number of passive re-rolls. Um, this is the passive right here list. And here is the with the game pass without the game pass so god passive you can see there was one with the game pass zero without monster zero with the game pass one without time lord we were able to get one with the game pass and one or zero without ace two more aces with the game pass that is big blessing um, that's not really a surprise because Blessing is more com the most common um, passive to get. But we did actually get two more Blessings without the game pass. Ghostly, this is where it starts getting big differences. So we got seven more Ghostlies with the game pass. Solid Gold, double. Two more Solid Golds. Three more Leader Threes. And two more lucky threes. And that gives us a total of 31 or 14 more mythical passives with the game pass. And one more secret passive. Now, does this mean if you go out there and roll, you're going to get a secret passive? Um, like, will you notice it? You're going to have to re-roll a lot of different times. Like, if you... This is just on a legendary. If we get the calculator out and we... Type in 1,262. So 1,262, and we'll just say a divine. It takes 10 shards. So if you times that by 10, basically 12,620 shards. And if you do, like, again, this is just one test. Um... I got two pa secret passes within that, but you just got to think about it as, as that, like, are you going to be able to go out there and reroll 50 times, a hundred times and get a secret passive? Probably not. So I don't want people who did buy the game pass, you know, maybe you still haven't got a secret passive on a good unit like me. That doesn't mean this game pass isn't working or it doesn't do any good. It definitely has value in it. I'm not going to answer the question. That's for another video as to if you should buy it or not. But it definitely works. It definitely, you see results with it. Hopefully this was informative and uh, you enjoy this. I, I'm not sure when I'm going to get this video out for you guys. But uh, I don't think anyone else has done this much research. If they have, let me know. I'd like to see their research. I see people post in about, you know, 2,000 or 4,000 different shards. What were they going to get? But this is 1,262 different rerolls. Um, and uh, if you did like it, please subscribe, turn the notifications. I'm going to go live this weekend, maybe Thursday night, Friday night, and even Saturday morning. I might stream three different days for you guys. Uh, turn the notification on. If you do like this, please, please hit that like button. It would help me out a lot. I just want to say thank you again for all the feedback. I read all of your guys' comments and it just means so much um, hearing your guys' uh, kind words. So anyways, this is Animus Born. Have a great night.